this guy came in and this was when I was doing mind body work in the 60s. He came in and he was having real jaw problems. His jaw was just rigid. He had uh, TMJ. So I was working with those muscles, helping, to re him, helping him to relax the jaw muscles. And then all of a sudden this image came up. Uh, he had wanted to be promoted um, to, in his job. And it looked like this other person was kind of making nice with the boss. And so he felt like he wanted to kill this guy, fight. But he couldn't do that, of course. Obviously, he had to stuff it, but his jaw had it. So as he released the, his jaw, that's when the whole image and his, his perceived threat from another person, just about a job promotion, but it was perceived threat. I think there are a lot of reasons why we get stuck. Using this simple example of the guy, it, you know, it, socially it would be inappropriate, it would have caused him all kinds of problems. So he needed to suppress that anger and you suppress it with the muscles. This is what Wilhelm Reich talked about armoring. So you have this unacceptable feeling. So you armor against that feeling. In this case, it was in his jaw. And actually the way it came out, he had this image actually of biting this guy. <laughs> I mean, how, how primal can you get? Yeah. So, and, and other reasons are, um, again, it, socially unacceptable. And the other thing is we're afraid of the energy that's locked in our bracing responses and our freeze responses. And so the very sensations that will help take us out of the freeze response back into balance, into equilibrium, into interregulation, those sensations are frightening often to a person. And so they stop those sensations from happening, but it's the very sensations that will take them out of the freeze response that they're stopping. Maybe this person who was pa passed over for a promotion, maybe he even starts talking about, you know, that he was really, really he just was so upset that the, you know, that this other person um, got promoted and that he didn't. And so while he's talking, I see his jaw starting to stiffen. I see his shoulders starting to come up. And I, then I might say, you know, I'm just wondering if you're noticing what's happening in your jaw or your shoulders just while you're talking about this. We can talk about it. Let's just put the, the, the talk about it. Just put it to the side for a few moments and you can come back to it anytime you want. But just see what you're noticing right now in your jaw. Then I might have them do some kind of movements like just opening the jaw till you feel a, 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 a increase in the resistance, in the tension, then letting the jaw um, close a little bit, then letting it open a little bit more, and then letting it close. And then again, every time there's a release of activation, a release of energy, just encourage the client. So just noticing those sensations. Maybe they report tingling. Just notice the tingling. Notice if it increases, if it decreases, or if it changes, if it stays the same, or if it changes to something else. So again, it's working with the energy, the activation that's got locked in to those frozen muscles. That's really the key. It really is. Mm -hmm.